Hi folks, today I'm going to talk about why several reasons why you should fish rivers between from, or from late September to March. Most people quit uh, around Labor Day or a little bit after and they don't start till April or even later. You know, this is some of the best time to actually get out there and fish these rivers. I'm going to talk about many reasons why uh first off <clears throat> from late september to march the water is always a lot lower due to less rainfall and uh, it makes it a lot easier to get into places that you weren't able to uh, other parts of the year uh, i've been going recently uh to where you can't even go in the summertime but the uh, water is so low right now that once you get down in the riparian zone you can just walk right along the edge of the river because it, the dirt is so dry. Of course, we haven't had any rain during the whole month of October here. And it's so low and dry that I could just walk right on the side and never had any trouble. Um, yeah, the, the water is generally uh, green or crystal clear during these months from October to March. Um, so that's one of the main reasons also like i said the water is always a lot lower this makes the fish a lot easier to find uh because they're going to be more concentrated in deeper holes um, and just easier to target uh, another reason is during the these six months out of the year the colder months a lot of your rough fish will not bite uh, and more game fish bite. You'll catch a lot more crappie, walleye, sauger, uh, even white bass. You still can catch uh, bluegill as well. Um, there is some species that do slow down, uh, such as catfish, carp, buffalo gar, drum, bowfin. All those are generally warm, warm water species. So. This does cut out a lot of the rough fish during this time, and you're more likely just to catch crappie, walleye, and bluegill, uh, spotted bass. Uh, Smallmouth to a certain extent, but the, the other kinds that will quit goggle eye usually do not bite when it's cold. Um, of course, you can catch trout and pickerel also when it's cold. Uh, some other reasons to get out there during these, this time is you got to think about this. Uh, it's easier to walk through the woods during these months. You won't have no thorns, poison ivy. You won't have any ticks or chiggers. No mosquitoes. No snakes. Uh, you know, that alone is just uh, makes it so much easier to get out there without being pestered by all the, the bugs and, and poison ivy and, and ticks and all that, you know. You can go out there all day and uh, and not have to deal with that. Uh, you can't. In the now, there's the only disadvantage really I can think of is uh, if you don't like cold and you can't get in the water and wade like you normally can unless you got some hip waders. Uh, so you might want to do that. And what I tend to do during these six months is uh, go to the further down a river than I normally do. Like during the summer months, I'll be up uh, on the up the upper reaches of a stream where it's uh, mainly smallmouth, uh, goggle eye, and uh, where I'm fishing at lately is on the lower reaches of the rivers uh, because they're so low that you can get down to them and walk the banks now. It's so dry and low uh, where there's more crappie and white bass, walleye, and stuff like that. So now this, this is that time of the year where you have the chance to get down uh, where you couldn't get to before. Uh, another advantage this time of the year is uh, most people are out deer hunting, so you have the rivers all to yourself. Uh, most, like I said, most people put their poles away uh, by September, uh, but they're missing out on a great opportunity. Uh, the, all the biggest fish I've caught have been in October, if that's any clue right there. So that should tell you a lot. So anyway. Uh, you know, so like I said, less pressure, less traffic. Uh, you'll be able to go to these spillways and dams uh, and all these other places without having to deal with other people. Um, 
and uh, that's about all I got. You know, just keep this in mind. Uh, uh, the time of the day to go during this. Uh, you, you may want to change your tactics. So, you know, during the war months, you, you like to go right when the sun comes up or the last hour before dark. Uh, but during these six months, I like to go during the peak heat of the day, like from noon to three or 11 to two, 11 to three, something like that. Uh, because generally, you know, even in Southeast Missouri here, uh, even though it does get down in the thirties at night or even the twenties, uh, you know, in December, January, and February, there is many days where it does get up in the fifties during those couple hours. It may not last very long, but that may be your only chance to get down there and, and where you're comfortable, you know, where you're not wearing thick gloves and a parka, uh, you know, uh, it's like I said, it's still very possible and they do bite. I just went the other day and, and caught. 13 crappies, so, and every one of them was big, uh, and a lot of these species bite better during these six months out of the year, walleye is definitely one of them, and sauger, you won't catch them during the summertime, uh, crappie, they bite better, uh, you can catch them in the summer, but it's going to be one hour in the morning and one at night, right before dark, uh, you ain't going to sit there and catch them in 100 degree weather in the middle of the day, I can guarantee it. Uh, you know, maybe once in a while, just by a rare chance, but, uh, you know, so get out there, don't ever give up, just, you know, you just got to keep going and going, you will get them, you will find that this, these six months out of the year is actually better than the hot months, and you're missing out on a lot, so, all right, this is my fishing tips, second series, y'all take care.